What's up, witches? I want to film a quick video before the weekend because we're heading out to a midsummer gathering and I wanted to make a video showing off for you what is in my travel altar. So this is my travel altar. It started its life as some type of jewelry box, I'm assuming, that I got at Goodwill. And it did not look like this when I got it. I think it was just painted white with some flowers on the top. And so I brought it home. I had painted the whole thing with just some black acrylic paint. And then I painted this design on the front um, i mostly used just acrylic paint pens that i had at the time for the majority of this and then i did go back in and add some finer details later with some brushes and some actual paints but here's the top of it for you and then we'll open it up and i'll show you what's inside so I really lucked out finding this at the thrift store because look at it. It's so perfect for a travel altar. It comes with these three separate, differently sized trays inside, each with their own little compartments. And if there is one thing that I love, it is cute little things, cute little boxes that you can put other things in. Things to put things in. Let me just walk you through what I have in these top sections and then the awesome thing about this travel altar box is that these trays also lift out and there's a whole other compartment underneath. So let me show you what's up here first and then we'll go on to the bottom. So starting at the top here, I have an amethyst crystal pillar. And then a beautiful flower agate pillar. I love the colors on this. It might be a little bit hard to pick up on camera, especially since this, the overhead lighting in this room is crap, but it has these beautiful light pink and like almost minty green opaque occlusions inside and I can definitely see where this stone gets its, its name from because that was the first thing that it reminded me of when I saw it was like a bouquet of flowers. It looks like little flowers trapped in glass or something and so flower agate, beautiful stone, beautiful name, and it just really resonated, calm, healing, peaceful, self-love, Freya energy, all those things that I associate with her, so I definitely wanted to pick that up, and up until moving it into here, these two did live on her altar. But now I like to take them with me when I set up a little travel altar. And then I also have a small raw amethyst point. And then on top of that, in this little bag, I just put some other miscellaneous stones from my collection. So here's a citrine, which I also definitely associate with Freya and Freyr and Sunshine and the Vanir, so very appropriate for Midsummer. This is a Lepidolite that I also just recently picked up, which is supposed to be good for anxiety. I definitely get a lot of social anxiety, so this being only my, I'm going to say, third official gathering, but only the second one where there will be a large amount of people that I've been to. So I can definitely use some help with the anxiety department this weekend, I think. And then I wanted to bring this beautiful sea glass-like fluorite, smooth, polished fluorite stone. I just love 
the smooth, nice lozenge shape of this one. And then when I was putting all the rest of my stones away, this little tiger's eye stayed behind as a stowaway. So he apparently wanted to come along for the party as well, and who am I to stop him? So they will go in this little bag. I'm not sure what I'll use them for while I'm bringing them. I just always, you know, you can never have too many shiny rocks. That's what I always say. And then next to it, I have a couple other random stones I like to bring with me. Here's my Hagalaz shaped aragonite and a few other random miscellaneous stones. I think this is a Dalmatian stone, Dalmatian jasper. So just a few other random things. Some of these smaller ones I like to leave behind as outdoor offerings. And then next to that, we have some gifts that I've been given at previous gatherings, such as this rune stone, this small quartz, and a little bone. Just a little good luck charms that I've been given as gifts, so they'll stay in the travel altar with me. And then under that, I just have some miscellaneous shells which I also like to keep on hand just to leave as random offerings. Um, I don't know why. A, it's just thrifty of me because I have a bunch of seashells just laying around in my house left over from old craft projects. And not only do I also tie them to the Vayner being, you know, kind of deities associated with water, um, and yours especially being more tied to the ocean, but... I like to bring them to leave um, outdoors in the woods to Vandivatir because I think it's just kind of unique and fun and interesting to bring a tree spirit a gift from like the ocean somewhere that it's never going to be or like see in its life. So that's just fun, uh, fun quirky thing that I like to do. Over here I have a little white candle holder and a black one that I picked up for holding these little chime candles because I always like to carry some of those in here in just different colors. And I also have a Palo Santo stick that was given to me at the moon weekend and a little bundle of sage that I picked up at a local shop which I will bring for cleansing. Some tea lights. You can never have enough tea lights when you're doing woo, especially at a gathering, oh, here's a little bloodstone, which usually lives on the Freyr altar, but he's going to come with me to midsummer. He escaped his little enclosure there. And then over here is some Freya oil that I made. Just with some essential oils mixed with a base carrier oil, which you can see what I used and where I got those from in my witchy Amazon haul video. And so I just made a nice kind of calming meditative spiritual oil to use either when I'm going to meditate or especially if I'm going to do something with Freya in particular, just as a way of keying my own mind into that shift in consciousness for, because it's really hard for me to sit down and make myself focus on the altar or focus on meditating and that kind of thing. So I wanted to make just like a kind of anointing oil, an aromatherapy oil that I could use whenever I'm going to do some witchy stuff or some trance stuff or woo stuff, whatever you want to call it, just to help my own brain shift from, you know, everyday mundane thinking to, okay, we're going into a ritual mindset now. We're going into a different mindset. So just a, an interesting way of trying to do that. And then with that, I also have a kitty lighter because of course I had to get the one with the cat on it. And much like candles and incense, you know, you want to make sure if you're going to a place where you're going to need to be making some fire that you have a way to do so. So then I have my big Labradorite stone. I really like to just hold this for meditation. So I want to bring that with me to use. 
and a nice quartz crystal pendulum which i haven't uh, used pendulums at all really i mostly do tarot divination and i'm starting to kind of go into the runes but i've been slacking on my rune study a lot lately so using a pendulum is something i plan to maybe start incorporating here and then I just have some empty glass vials for collecting little random odds and ends on walks or what have you. Or if you know you want to make up a little emergency spell bottle on the go, you have a little jar ready. Alright, so now that I've covered all of those things, we can move on to the bottom. I love how much storage you get in this box and that not only can you keep everything kind of neat and organized on top and um, a place for everything and everything in its place, but there's even more like secret, secret compartments underneath that. So here I just have some small sticks of the Morning Star incense, which I saw recommended by many other fellow pagans on YouTube, and I just found it on Amazon. I think I just got a, a three pack of some different ones, but with Freya and the Vanir in particular, for some reason, I really like sandalwood. So I'm bringing that. And of course, you can never go wrong with some sage for your basic, you know, cleansing, warding, and protection, and what have you. Matches, just in case, always be prepared. And some lavender tea lights that I just picked up at the dollar store recently. But they're nice and thin, so they just fit really easily in here. And I figured, like I said, you can never have too many candles. So, then next to them, I'm bringing my little Freyr statue. Normally he stays on the altar, but one of the reasons why I wanted to get these little mini statues was for ease of travel, so that I had something I could take with me on the go. So he's coming with me this weekend, so that should be fun. And then down here I have some more incense, um, some rose incense for Freya and spring and goddess vibes. I think these are the last two of the dragon's blood that I have that um, Odin really likes, and I'm pretty much used with him exclusively. My mini selenite wand, I finally got the shorter version to go with my longer 4-inch version that stays on the Freya altar. As I've said, this is supposed to be self-cleansing, so always good to have on hand, something like that. Although I always kind of feel like a little like TSA guy when I'm like waving it in front of stuff to cleanse it. You know, like you're taking a little metal detector wand over everything. And the cutest little tarot deck I ever have seen. I mean, like I'm a tiny person and this fits in the palm of my hand. And it's the Tarot of Pagan Cats. So cute little mini tarot deck to bring with you for ease of travel. But that's not going to stop me from also bringing a at least one or two of my actual decks, and at, probably at least one or two oracle decks. Because this Tarot of Pagan Cats, um, I might go over it a little bit more in depth in a, in a video, but it's, it's basically just the standard um, Rider weight format, but with cats. So nothing um, too much different from the standard tarot decks that you will find with that, but cats, so I had to have it. So that about sums up what I've usually been keeping in this travel altar for now, and once I get to the gathering this weekend, I'll try to remember to film some footage, just some overall footage while I'm there to share with you all in a vlog, but specifically at least take some pictures or video of the travel altar set up on location. And just one or two other things to throw in really quick that I will be bringing with me as well that won't fit is this little um, travel pouch that I got for carrying essential oils because I have a big set of them but I don't need the whole thing so I'm just bringing four and the ones that I chose are lemongrass, bergamot, rose, 
and Vetiver. They just seemed like nice summery Freya and Vanier type scents. Just kind of went with my gut on that one. And then I have just another little set of mini votive candles that I also picked up at a dollar store. And I may or may not bring, I'm not sure yet, I may or may not bring this giant shell that we found when we were out on a nature walk a few weeks ago, just at a local park. It's ironic because I had been thinking to myself for weeks that I was gonna try to like maybe go online or find somewhere that I could get a big seashell for using as like a little bowl for either offerings or um, holding like smudge sticks and stuff when I'm walking around the house smudging. And lo and behold, the first random place we stopped off of the trail near the water to leave an offering to the land spirits, this was just sitting there in the middle of Illinois. Like, why is there a giant shell? I don't know, but sometimes that's the really great thing about paganism is ask and you shall receive. And then in here, I might also bring these. This is like a rainbow, um, rainbow am, rainbow ammonite. Yeah, I think that's what they're called, rainbow ammonite. Very Vayner vibes for sure. And I just love anything like iridescent or opalescent like this. So you can kind of tell there that it's called a rainbow shell for a reason. And then this is, I believe, just a like blue or black, um, Cold stone with the image of a hawk on it for Freya. And I think this will just be going in my pocket with me as kind of a little good luck charm. Hi, Loki. Yes, every video at least has to have at least one appearance by a cat. So there's your bonus Loki for this one. And with that said, I think I will leave this video off here. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tour of my travel altar and what I like to bring with me as a pagan on the go. So look forward to hopefully seeing some, some, look forward to seeing some footage. Anyway, and you know, you can take, uh, you can take the girl out of Wisconsin, but you can't take the Wisconsin out of the girl sometimes, don't you know? But with that being said, I'm going to leave this video off here, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, stay classy, pagans.